I think that we have the best perspective on the Samsung household, not just from a television perspective, but because of our mobile footprint and also our appliance footprint. All of those things come together to give us a really good view on what's going on in that household, along with the deterministic information from things like ACR, but also more probabilistic stuff that's coming in from like our own panel or other sources that are coming in there. So I think it really is definitely an evolution beyond just that pure linear ACR use case that's been powering so many different businesses for that past few years. Can you talk about like with, in CTV, I think the dream is that it's the best of digital and, and television. But you know, it's not a cookie-based vehicle. It's still the its targeting capabilities are still emerging. You guys have invested a lot and look like targeting in other forms. Can you get into that? Some some of that? Yeah, the CTV of course is powering a lot of reach use cases to be able to inform the complicated econometric modeling that large brands use. But we're able to do a lot more than just the pure reach side of it by being able to have that addressable household and be able to do actual conversions on websites or mobile devices or wherever it is. So you can show how a television ad is then driving an actual conversion in digital at home, in retail footfall, or on a different device from the television itself. So being able to take that real addressability with television and show that full funnel is uh, pretty new and interesting. General, on a, from a broad level, uh, performance advertising is kind of it, seems, it feels like it's eclipsing branding, and, but it may be in CTV that's happening at a slower pace. Are you seeing, is there enough innovation happening in, in attribution and television to kind of push that forward? I think the minute that you get a use case where you can show real immediate results and that advertisers can understand and then optimize around and learn from, you can absolutely get budgets there. And so there's a lot of interest in doing that. Our partnerships with our largest customers have been really fruitful from that perspective because it's not just us saying, here's exactly what you're going to get from an outcome perspective. It's sitting down and seeing how can we use the performance aspect to then inform broader campaigns and be able to have a more holistic picture, picture together. How have you been, from the ad side of things, been, been able to innovate on to help consumers with discovery, which is an ongoing challenge, and probably for many of our advertisers? My favorite experience with Samsung ads was turning on the television and seeing an ad for a show that I had forgotten about, but then still wanted to watch. We've got a really good integration into the consumer habits, the consumer footprints, the consumer uh, flows for it. So I think that that's one of the best use cases that advertising can have, where it complements what you're already doing. How do you, you, given that you have so much of your own data and, your, and these capabilities, how do you reconcile that with brands that are, are, are accustomed to third party measurement and they're all, there's so, so much change going on there? Do those, do those things intersect, conflict? Well, we want to support what the advertiser needs to see. So we do work with a lot of third parties. We are trying to be good partners with as many other companies out there as possible, but we also have our own unique perspective. So showing the actual impact of an ad campaign on the Samsung household from our own perspective is important, but it's to complement what the advertiser is seeing as well. And over time, that changes. Lastly, as we are at the start of 2024, what are the, what are the areas that you're most excited about for your, your company or the, the space in general? Samsung's the technology company, and we've been able to deploy our technology assets towards some really awesome performance products. So being able to really go from a TV ad, uh, whether it be in the menu or a CTV ad, to an actual conversion footfall website, mobile app conversion, and being able to optimize for that, it's just really improved the velocity for our customers, and that's some rewarding stuff to see.